Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at this game called Mirage of Dragon. It's on Steam, I think for 5 bucks right now. It's way too much. I think I bought it for like 99 cents. Maybe $1.99. Hopefully just 99 cents. Um, so as you can probably tell, I'm not a huge fan of the game. And we'll get into it here. So, the blurb is, it's a unique 2D platformer with open world that gives you a freedom of exploration, wander the maze, solve puzzles, and discover all the game's endings in a mysterious, dreamy place. Those are all true things, I would say. Unfortunately, they're not executed well. So it does have controller support, which is nice. It's a big plus. I will give it that. And it's a very unique, cool-looking art style for like the first 15 minutes. And it just kind of wore on me, I guess. I think that's probably its biggest selling point, or that was the point. Maybe it's like the unique art. So here's your guy who blends in pretty heavily with the background. All you do is jump, so it's platforming, and a lot of it's just blind falling to figure out where to go next. And you're fall down here, you can climb on these things, horizontal, vertical, so you can't, right. yeah you can't like jump off the side, yeah you can't, okay, it's kind of hard. So you some annoying platforming here, uh, really turned me off the game almost instantly. So you wander around, you have no idea where to go. Um, you can wall jump sometimes, sometimes not. So these little like ladder things there. So let's see. So you can wall jump off that. You can climb up here, get to the very edge. You know, stuff like this is really annoying. You just gotta blind fall into the next spot and you know, kinda hope you don't have to keep on doing this over and over again. So we're just gonna go off the edge here. We made it. Just gonna do a lot of this precision jumping, because if not, you gotta do it all over again. So just really dumb. Up here, up here. Um I remember the release date. Release date was 2018. Developers Arc House, Publishers Forever Entertainment. So I haven't checked what else they've done, if anything. So you have this like breathing thing over here. Grab this. No idea. I'm sure there's probably an online guide. I probably should look at that, but after playing the game, I just don't care enough to, <laughs> to even bother. Um, looks like this thing makes you jump higher. So that's what that does. Oops, and yeah, yep, 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 uh, I think it's probably going to wear off, alright, so, this, oh. like I said, you can do it all over again, yeah, that's a lot of fun. Here. And then we got whatever this is. So I assume that opened another part of the maze, right? I guess. I don't know. Who knows? And then I can't, like, get the camera to look down, so I'm going to go back down here first. Nope, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Looks like some more wall jump in there. Fun. So if you like these annoying platforming games, maybe you'll like it. I thought that was like a spring thing. No? Uh, back up we go. Looks like there's a door there that I missed. <laughs> this way. And can't go down. Nope. <laughs> yeah, right, and we're back to where we were. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. We made it, I think. So you press up to go in these doors. A new area here. And you just kind of, like I said, wander around. 
And there is another perspective on these mazes that you'll find. So I'll start it over here so you can see that. Looks like my garden. So it should still be unlocked. So you blind fall. Yeah, I don't think it's over here. Maybe it is. There's a little door right here. And now you're in this like weird, it's not a top down maze, but you know, your character is also a lot smaller now. And I guess you got to figure out how to get out of here. So, who knows? Looks like you could grab that, but you can't. That's fun. Oh, false walls. <laughs> then I have to check false walls. That's stupid. I really don't like this game. Like I said, I give it a 2 out of 10. One for the art, which actually gets pretty old. And two, because it I don't know, has controller support. And uh, it's not bad controller support. The jumping's pretty decent. Yeah. I don't know. So you'll find stuff like that. I have no idea what it does. Uh, I'm trying to find another false wall, I guess. Back up, maybe. Well, that's fun. Nothing like backtracking to make a game enjoyable. So I think you've seen enough. <laughs> uh, I don't like this game. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, if it's free, maybe ninety-nine cents. I think it, I don't know. I technically probably played it enough time to justify that, but I haven't enjoyed it. So. 2 out of 10 for Mirage of Dragon. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. And as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.